For centuries, Europe has been a continent of steady population growth. But in recent years, the tide has turned. The continent's population is now shrinking and the implications are far-reaching. The reasons for this demographic shift are complex and varied. They include declining fertility rates, increasing life expectancy, and declining immigration. But whatever the causes, the effects are clear. The workforce is shrinking, the tax base is shrinking, and the economy is at risk. This demographic shift is not just a problem for Europe. It is a problem for the world. As the world's population ages, Europe will become an increasingly important player in the global economy. And if Europe cannot address these demographic challenges, it will have a significant impact on the global economy as a whole. In this video, we will explore the scale of Europe's demographic shift, the factors that are driving it, and the potential consequences. Number 1. Aging Population One of the primary drivers of Europe's population decline is its aging demographic. The continent's inhabitants are living longer, thanks to advancements in healthcare and improved living conditions. While longevity is undoubtedly a positive development, it comes with its own set of challenges. As people live longer, the overall birth rate decreases, as older individuals are less likely to have children. This demographic imbalance results in a shrinking population over time. Number 2. Low Birth Rates Low birth rates have become a pressing concern in Europe. Several factors contribute to this trend, including delayed family planning. Many couples are choosing to start families later in life, which can lead to reduced fertility rates. Economic factors, high living costs, job instability, and limited parental leave options can deter couples from having more children. Changing social norms. The traditional family structure is evolving, with more people choosing not to have children or having smaller families. Number 3. Migration Patterns Migration plays a significant role in Europe's population dynamics. While some countries experience emigration, others witness immigration, often resulting in regional imbalances, economic opportunities, political instability and humanitarian crisis can all drive migration trends. The declining population in Europe has far-reaching consequences that extend beyond just demographic statistics. Some of the key implications include number 1. Economic challenges A shrinking workforce can hamper economic growth. As the proportion of elderly citizens increases, there may be a strain on healthcare and pension systems. To maintain economic stability, Europe will need to find ways to support its aging population while also encouraging workforce growth. Number 2. Social Welfare Systems Europe has well-established social welfare systems that rely on contributions from the working age population to support retirees. With fewer young people entering the workforce, these systems may face financial strain. Number 3. Cultural and Societal Changes A declining population can impact cultural and societal norms. Smaller families may become more common, potentially altering the traditional family structure and dynamics. Number 4. Political Ramifications Political debates surrounding immigration and policies related to population management will continue to be prominent in Europe's political landscape. Striking the right balance between preserving cultural identity and addressing labor shortages through immigration will be a complex challenge. Addressing Europe's declining population is a multifaceted challenge that requires a coordinated effort from governments, communities and individuals. Some potential strategies include number 1. Family-friendly policies 
government can implement policies that support families, such as affordable childcare, parental leave, and tax incentives for families with children. Number two, immigration policies. Europe can explore immigration policies that attract skilled laborers to fill labor gaps while ensuring that cultural diversity is respected and integrated. Number three, economic reforms. Efforts to stimulate economic growth, create job opportunities, and reduce income inequality can incentivize young people to start families. Number four, promoting education and awareness. Educational campaigns can raise awareness about the importance of family planning and the benefits of having children. Number five, encouraging work-life balance. Promoting a healthier work-life balance can encourage individuals to consider starting families earlier. Policies that reduce excessive work hours and stress can contribute to a more family-friendly environment. Number six, investing in education and skills training. Supporting education and skills training programs can help individuals secure stable employment, which can, in turn, make family planning more feasible. Number seven, international cooperation. Europe can collaborate with neighboring regions to address population imbalances and migration challenges collectively. Regional partnerships can lead to more effective solutions to shared demographic issues. Number eight, innovation and technology. Leveraging innovation and technology can help offset labor shortages. Automation and artificial intelligence can be employed in industries facing worker shortages, allowing for continued economic growth. Number nine, community engagement. Communities can play a significant role in supporting families, establishing strong support networks, including child care services and community centers, can alleviate some of the challenges faced by parents. Number 10. Cultural Adaptation As Europe's cultural landscape evolves, embracing diversity and fostering inclusivity will be essential. Encouraging dialogues and understanding among different communities can help create a harmonious society. It's important to recognize that addressing Europe's declining population is not a one-size-fits-all endeavor. Solutions will vary from country to country and region to region, reflecting unique cultural, economic and social contexts. While Europe's declining population presents complex challenges, it also offers opportunities for growth and innovation. By adopting a holistic approach that combines family-friendly policies economic reforms and cultural adaptation, Europe can navigate this demographic shift and build a more resilient and prosperous future for generations to come. It's a journey that requires collaboration, empathy and forward-thinking strategies, but one that holds the promise of a vibrant and diverse Europe for the years ahead.